friends. So Liv and I are about to get her all strapped up to ride her bike for the first time, or at least the first time that I've been helping her do it. So um, she's pretty excited. You excited? You excited? I want my Yeah, we gotta put your helmet on. What's that? She doesn't quite get it yet, so come on, Liv. A walk in? Yeah. The lion's house? No, we're just gonna go to the sidewalk right here. your bike anymore? Oh my car. Your car is dead. The battery's dead. Come on. A lot of you know if you caught my last two live streams that the boys got like a super nasty stomach bug yesterday and um, they were both throwing up all day yeah. having really nasty diapers. I ended up at the doctor with both of them yesterday evening and they were tested for the flu, which it ended up being negative, thank goodness. Um, and then, uh, so we didn't really know what it was. The doctor said that it was probably just some stomach virus, which like, duh, at that point. Thankfully, n nobody else has gotten it. And this morning they woke up with fevers, but um, they were able to keep their bottles down and they've literally just been sleeping all day. Like, they slept from 9 to 12.30 and then they woke up, had a bottle, and then they went right back down to sleep. Like, they just don't want to be awake. They want to sleep. So, I'm okay with that. They need to just sleep it off, I guess. So, um, that's just what we're letting them do. And Liv and I are just kind of hanging out and killing time. Y'all, this poor baby cannot catch a break. You okay, baby? I went to get him and Jacob up from their nap to give them a bottle and Jameson had puked all in his crib, all over everything, including himself. So I threw him in the bath, gave him a bath and we came downstairs and he threw up all over me and his towel and himself. So I finally got some clothes on him, but you guys, he's so pitiful. Hi bud, are you okay? I'm not pain. You okay? Oh. No fever. So his fever is gone, but he's still throwing up, and I just feel so horrible for him. Mm. Get out of his face, baby. I don't want you to get sick, too. Let's leave brother alone, okay? Your dress is inside out, and she's driving him crazy. <coughs> Poor baby. He's feeling so bad, and he just wants his mama, and it's hard, because Jacob, he hasn't started throwing up again, so he seems okay. Poor Jameson just got the worst of this. And it's so hard keeping a three-year-old away from her brothers. She just doesn't understand. She's not listening. It's just been so stressful. Yeah. yeah. Are you happy now? He seems to be in a better mood now that he puked that last time. Maybe this is just the end of it. I don't know. I just need a shower. I'm so tired of smelling like throw up. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, uh. baby. So I just called his doctor and let him know because yesterday Jameson was borderline dehydrated when we took him into the doctor because he couldn't keep any fluids down. Like we were trying to pump fluids into him all day and he just kept throwing it up. Um, and he did so well with his first two bottles of the day and now it's just all coming back up. So sad. So we're hiding in here while Jacob eats his bottle because, or drinks his bottle, because I don't want this guy to see it. I don't want him to see someone getting to eat and he can't. Oh, are you going to be sick again? Uh, uh. 
I'm gonna go lay him down in his pack and play. I have a pack and play set up in the living room from yesterday where I was kind of just quarantining him into an area where he couldn't like throw up all over the floor. So I'm just gonna put him in there. Unfortunately, I have to go upstairs and strip his bed. I'm not gonna show you guys because I know some of you are squeamish, but um, I gotta strip his bed and bring down all the nastiness. And then um, he also puked on two of his Wubba Nubs. So I'm gonna try to wash those too. This room just smells like puke. wanted to do the last two days is be rocked, which is very unlike them. They don't like attention. Ben's home and he's in a pleasant mood. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this little guy just wants to cuddle. You just want to cuddle your mama? See. Say go, go, go. I hate that you're sick, but I love that you're cuddling. Uh, uh, uh. Mama. Mama. Yeah, mama. 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 You're so sweet. Jameson say, go, go, go. Oh, little man. Okay. Here. Take this baby, the other one's throwing up. What'd he do? Well done. Oh, I'm sick now. Not you, hope, <laughs> hope not. Whoa. Hey, I like it, Trader Trader. It's okay. At least you're still smiling. At least you're still smiling. <laughs> Hopefully this is over soon. <laughs> Alright you guys, so both babies are vomiting again. Out of nowhere. So we are on our way to the ER. Um, per their doctor's recommendation. Um, he said they need to be hooked up to an IV to get fluids because they can't keep anything down. So I'm stocked up on oils. <laughs> I got, I brought three, I brought Stress Away, I brought a Get Well Baby blend, and then I brought this as a uh, lavender and frankincense just to help with the stress because it's definitely not easy seeing your baby sick. So I'm gonna head over to the doctors now. So um, I might film there, I may not, just depending on how it goes.
exhausted babies. This baby feels horrible. It's way past bedtime. This baby is so ill. So ill. So I think we're gonna end up with an IV in both babies. I spoke with the doctor and they're gonna try Zofran and push some fluids and give the babies some little crackers and things to munch on and see if they can keep that down. If they can, then they're gonna send us home. If they cannot, they're probably gonna admit us. So we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed. Gatorade. They decided to skimp on the Pedialyte and just go for Gatorade. Jacob's just sort of trying to figure out a straw. You got it? Say, like, <laughs> There you go. I have to make that sucking noise so that he knows to <laughs> put it in your mouth. Jameson down here got a bottle to put his Gatorade in. Yeah. Look good on your tummy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got some Zofran and we're feeling much better. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the Gatorade. We're being discharged. Yeah. Are you excited to go home? Yeah. Take my money. Alrighty, you not get my business. Hey, downtown is super freaky at night. in a parking garage and I'm a little bit nervous about it. But yeah. All right, back in the car. Sorry, there were these kids like following me really close. <laughs> so I turned the camera off and just decided to get to my car as fast as I could. This downtown area just isn't the greatest, but I'm also extremely paranoid, so I'm always nervous about crazy stuff happening, so. Um, I'm sure it was nothing, but I just wanted to be safe. So anyway, it is, what time is it? 10.30 and we are going to head home. Um, I feel, I feel good about the visit. I'm glad that I came, but I wish that I had known I could have given them Zofran. Ugh, could have saved myself some money and some time and some pain. <laughs> Could have saved the boys some pain. I have tired babies and I'm really hungry despite having eaten before we came. Um, but I think we're just gonna head home. I'm really tired. I just wanna go home and go to bed. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's pray that this Zofran does the trick and that the babies feel much better tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Sorry it was all about sicky babies, but it is what it is. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you liked what you saw and the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you can get notified when we do upload. Um, and I will catch you in our next video. Bye.